Hello, hello. Welcome to Science Stories with Mrs. D. Today, I'm going to read a book titled, If You Have a Magnet and Other Science Predictions. A prediction is a guess or something you think might be true based on what you already know. Before we begin reading, let's look at some vocabulary words that you'll hear in this book today. If you have a magnet and other science predictions, here are six words that I chose that I think you should know a little bit more about before I begin to read. The first vocabulary word is metal. Next, we have solid, healthy, shrink, surface, and force. Let's look at all six of these words with their definitions and some pictures to help us understand them better. Metal. Metal is a material that conducts electricity and heat relatively well. So here are some examples or types of metals. We have aluminum, copper, steel, brass. Here you can see some nails that are made of metal. And look, they are attracted to this magnet. So a lot of metals are also magnetic. Our next word is solid. Solid is something that holds its shape. It's not a liquid or gas. Sometimes we might describe something using the word solid as an adjective. This three-dimensional cube is solid. I can't walk through it or stick my hand inside of it. It's solid. You might also hear the solid used as a noun when we're talking about the states of matter. Here is a gas. This is a liquid. And these ice cubes are solid. Again, you cannot put your hand through them. You cannot walk through them. They're a solid shape. Our next vocabulary word is healthy. Healthy is something that will create good health, like apples, exercise, and fresh air. So in this picture, you can see a lot of different things that are good for your health. Riding your bike, or lifting weights, that's good healthy exercise. Eating foods like carrots and broccoli, those are healthy foods, right? Really good for your body, and they give you energy. And then doing other healthy things like spending time outdoors, playing sports or games, drinking lots of water, all of these are healthy activities, things that will create good health. This word is shrink. Shrink means to become or make smaller in size or amount. So right here you can see this character Steve. He is shrinking, so he is getting smaller. Here you can see the spaghetti. This plate has a larger amount, and this plate has a smaller amount. It has shrunken in size. Maybe this is for someone smaller to eat. So shrink means to become or make smaller in size or amount. Surface is the outside part or the uppermost layer of something. So right here in this diagram of the earth, the surface would be this outer layer, right? The outside part. This is the crust where we have the oceans and we have our landforms. This would be the surface of the earth. It can also mean the uppermost or the top layer of something. So right here in this picture, the surface of the water is this top part up here. So it can be the outside part or the top part of something. And our last vocabulary word is force. Force is movement or strength that changes the movement of an object. And there are many types of forces. Here is a list of several. We've got the friction force, that's this movement and this push back, you know, from the friction that's created. Gravity force, remember things fall down, right? Gravity pulls things toward the um, surface of the earth or the center of the earth. Here's applied force when you're pushing something, right? spring force when something continues to move and bounce back. We've also got drag force, normal force, magnetic force, and electrical force. So force, there are many, many different types of force. It's a movement or strength that changes the movement of an object. All right, so now that we've listened to those vocabulary definitions and seen those pictures, when you hear those vocabulary words in our book today, hopefully you will understand them. If you have a magnet and other science predictions, let's read. Our author is Blake A. Hona, and it doesn't list an illustrator, I think because we have real photographs. There might not be any illustrations in this book. 
All right. The world is full of wonders. The sounds we hear and the sights we see. But if you watch closely, you can use science to predict what will happen. Want to give it a try? Magnets aren't magic, even though they perform a neat trick. They pick up metal objects like cars and paper clips. Now, what would happen if you hold a magnet over an apple? What do you think would happen? What is your prediction? Nothing. Apples aren't made of metal. Magnets cannot pick up living objects like you, a cat or an apple, but they can pick up certain metal objects like nails and pins. Ice is made of water and so is fog. You can't poke your finger through ice because it's a solid, but you can walk right through fog. What would happen if you stuck your hand into water? Water is a liquid, so you can move your hand through it. It's pretty easy to walk through fog, a gas form of water, but it's more difficult to walk through water. Did you know that light travels in a straight line? Zip! Faster than you or even me. Light moves quickly, but it cannot pass through solid objects like a door or a brick. So what happens when you put your hand in front of a light? Has anyone ever done that with a flashlight before? You create a shadow. He's making it look like a little dog barking. <laughs> Shadows are created when objects block the path of light. You can't move without energy and your body gets its energy from food. Food fuels your muscles so you have the energy to run and jump, swing and skip. But what would happen if you missed breakfast? Would you be able to play soccer still? Maybe. Your body would have less energy and you'd feel tired. A healthy snack during the day is a great way to keep up your energy levels. So she, it looks like she's eating some oranges or maybe some grapefruits, right? That's another healthy choice, healthy food. Kayakers use paddles to push through the water. A motorboat's motor propels a speedboat through the waves. What would happen in a gust of wind filled a sailboat's sails? Do you think it works similarly? The sailboat would move forward. The force of the wind blowing against a sailboat's sails is how it moves through the water. So there's a different type of force, right? When the sun beats down on lakes and ponds, they begin to empty. The water evaporates and rises to form clouds. When those clouds loom dark and stormy overhead, what happens next? So the water's evaporated, right? It's up there in those clouds now. Rain falls to fill up the lakes and ponds again. Water evaporates to form clouds and then falls back to the earth as rain. This is called the water cycle. We read another book about that before. Objects have three states, solid, liquid, or gas. Water is liquid. During the cold of winter, rain puddles freeze into ice, a solid. But during the heat of summer, what happens to the puddle? Have you ever seen something happen when ice gets warmer? It will disappear. The water evaporates and turns into water vapor, a gas. So at first it's going to turn into liquid, right? But then eventually it will evaporate as well. What goes up must come down. That's the law of gravity. If you tossed up a rock, it will eventually land on the ground. If you kicked a ball, it too will come right back down. But what if there was no gravity and you leaped into the air? <laughs> Where would she go? <gasps> You'd float like an astronaut in space. Gravity is what keeps people and everything else on the ground. See the moon in the night sky? Sometimes the moon seems to shrink. Tonight, the moon looks like a tiny silver sliver of itself. Will the moon simply disappear forever? What will happen next? The moon doesn't really disappear or get smaller. As the moon circles the earth, we can only see the part that is lit by the sun. These are the moon phases. The stars are pinpricks of twinkling light in the night sky. 
They seem small because they are so very far away. What if one of those stars moved into our solar system? We already have one, right? The sun. We'd have two suns. Our sun is a star, just like the others in the night sky. It's just much, much closer, so it looks different, right? Heat is a type of energy, and everything reacts differently to heat. If you put water in the hot sun, it will evaporate. Really hot sun will melt a plastic toy. If it's that hot, what would happen to a hot dog? It would cook. We use heat to cook food. In fact, people actually make solar ovens that use the sun to cook hot dogs and other foods. Sound is caused by tiny vibrations traveling to your ear. If you tap on a desk, it vibrates and you hear a sound. If you tap on a drum, you also hear a sound. What happens if you bang on the drum? You would hear a loud sound. Tapping on a drum causes small vibrations, so you hear a quiet sound. Banging on it creates large vibrations, so the sound is louder. Plop. If you toss a coin in a swimming pool, it sinks to the bottom. Throw a sock in and it floats for a bit, then sinks. If you drop an oak leaf in the pool, it floats on the water's surface. If a 70,000 ton piece of metal slides into the ocean, what do you think will happen? Hmm. It depends on the shape of the metal. If it is a cruise ship, it will float. Cruise ships can be as long as three football fields and taller than the Statue of Liberty, but their special shape allows them to float. How many of your predictions were correct? Did you know a lot about science or learn something new? Studying science helps you better understand the world around you. Try making your own science predictions and see if they come true. So that's the end of the book. Behind that page, we do have a glossary. So remember, those are extra definitions of words. And there are also some other books you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one and some internet sites that you might like as well. So if you wanna check this book out from your library to look at those extra pages, you would just look for the title, if you have a magnet, and then you'd look for this author, Blake A. Hona. So you could check this out from your library, and you could read it to yourself as well. I hope you enjoyed listening to me read it today, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.